So we've all seen those videos going around of people trying to snap these boards either by focusing them or running them over with their cars. There's even been people that have run them over multiple times and then skated them as if nothing has happened because the board's so strong and it doesn't break at all. So as you guys know, I weigh about 100 kilos and a brand new board lasts me an average of like one to two weeks. Sometimes I've broken new boards within the hour of setting it up. I go through a lot of boards, so I really want to test this board out. So obviously this board is supposed to be indestructible. I obviously want to test that, how strong it is, but I want to do a few other test too, such as the concave of it, how much it weighs, the pop and the flick because of the concave of it. And of course, the snap or crack test to see if this board can actually hold up against my body and how strong I land on rails and stuff. So I've seen all the videos, so hopefully it does well. So a traditional skateboard has seven layers of plywood. So this one has five layers of ply and it has two layers of carbon fiber. That's where it's supposed to get its lightness from and it's supposed to get its strength from the carbon fiber layers. So there's a carbon fiber layer on the top and then there's a carbon fiber layer layer, the second layer from the bottom. So there's the two that are kind of interwoven into the, the seven. Another thing I've noticed is there are these big thick patches over where the trucks are going to go. So it's being reinforced over the truck so you don't snap your tail or your nose or get pressure cracks easily. So Pal Peralta, which is the brand that created this board, they're claiming that this board is going to have a higher and faster pop because of the flexibility with the carbon fiber and how light the board is. So a few specs of this board, it's an 875, you guys know I ride 875 boards. It has a 245 shape. So these boards come in a different, uh, few different shapes. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, but the 245 means it's got a wider nose and tail. So more of a classic popsicle shape that I'm used to. I ride like anti-hero folklore boards and stuff like that. So they're known to have like a wide tail and a bigger nose, which I like. The length is 32.95 inches long. Wheelbase is 15 inches, which I'm I'm wondering if I'll notice the difference because it's only like a fraction bigger than what I usually ride. The board itself weighs one, three, four, six grams. So in comparison to a folklore board that I've got here, which weighs one, four, seven, six grams. But just keep in mind that already has grip tape on it, but a grip tape won't be the equivalent of that weight gap. So this is a lighter board. That comes from having five ply layers and two of the carbon fiber layers rather than having seven full plies. So that's why it's gonna be lighter. So my first impression of the board, like the shape looks really good. The concave looks ridiculously like deep concaved here so I'm having a feeling because of the strong concave when I try and flick and do flip tricks it's going to rotate faster because it's got a harsher concave on the edge there so I'm going to grip this right now set it up head to the skate park and then I'm going to do all those tests and show you exactly what you're in for if you want to ride one of these boards so let's set it up and head to the park
All right, so the board's definitely living up to the lightweightness and the very springy pop that it has. So everything that they've claimed this board to do, it's holding up to it so far. So I'm impressed. I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which is the flip trick test. So because of the strong concave, I'm gonna see if it helps with my flip tricks. So I'm gonna do all the kick flips, heel flips, and tray flips. So the straight 12, let's go. Okay, I think I saw all I needed to see and feel on the front lip and the fakie front lip test. That board was flexing so hard, but it didn't crack, it didn't break, nothing happened to it. I couldn't even feel it, like it didn't feel cracked or anything. I can't believe how much it flexes and then it's not cracked, like it stays solid again. So definitely a good board for heavy guys like me. So it passed all the tests, it's got good shape, it's a good pop, it's got nice concave, helps me flick better. It's light because it's only five ply with the two carbon fiber layers. It's not gonna crack or break, but if you wanna check any more reviews that I've done. Check this playlist right here. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.